Travel to Red Death Island! That's great! That's a great name! That's great! Red Death Island! I love it. It's like I love the Red Death. It's, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in fear and despair. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm Magic Cat, and today I will be playing Fallout 4. Y'all ready? Let's go. Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. We will all be faced with many new and unfamiliar health risks. <laughs> all right. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in hey, buddy. Stock. Food. Stim packs. Fog. Fully stuffed. It's dangerous, okay? I am aware that the fog is a danger. I should also check to see what I can do. Change in tide, help Mitch. Also, I've walked in the park. Alright, looks like Mitch is in the last plank. And I think I have a level up. Yeah. Oh, I love the music. It's really good. That's Mitch over there. Alright, Nick. Let's see if we got that level up. We do. What are we going to do with it, buddy? Let's take a look. Ooh. They didn't do the level up music. I wonder why. Don't have any gun. Haven't really been focusing on my guns lately. Do I have all of these? You now do double damage with a melee weapon and gain the chance to cripple your opponent or grand slam their head clean off. <laughs> that sounds really exciting. <laughs> I might go with that one. At our prices, though. I've been suffering for caps. This might be a smart decision. Oh, but look, fortune finder means I'd find even more caps. Ah, uh, I think I need to do this. I really struggle for caps. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I ever know what to do, though, is the question. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, bloody mess. Mysterious stranger will occasionally appear in vats to lend a hand with deadly efficiency. That's scary. And I'm very curious about that. I don't have it unlocked, though. I need luck level four to unlock it. Wait, can my companion hurt me? I never noticed that. I didn't notice that there was friendly fire. My companion would do more damage. Be nice. Oh, they have a cannibal one. <laughs> I think I've noticed this one before. Ooh, this would reduce limb damage. You know what? I I'm gonna max out my melee. I really love it, y'all. <sighs> you know, I should really do stuff like getting armorer. <laughs> I have not modified anything. And I really should. Ay, ay, ay. Fun or utility? Fun, utility. Y'all know I gotta go with fun. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get armor later. There we go. Alright, Nick, let's go talk to Mitch. Hey, Mitch. Everyone! Everyone! We're trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> Shut your mouths! Open your damned ears! So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. That's right. <laughs> On the house! Oh, wow! Yeah. Whoa, you guys should be I happy! I would like a round. Here's a Mitch! Mitch! I, for one, won't go down unless I'm roaring drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, make way! Did you really kill the queen? The mariner said you did. Don't pester him, Debbie. Of course he did. Now this is what a badass looks like. <laughs> I fear we had you all wrong. Well, Captain Avery didn't. Right. Holier than thou Avery got the right of it. And thanks for reminding me. Oh, wow. Here's a round on the house. Uh, everyone's not, uh, hankering over here, are they, buddy? Um, 
Awfully friendly. That's awfully friendly of you. We have mainlanders coming in and out all the time. Worst of a lot are thieves or murderers. And the others we find floating face down in the harbor. Oh. But not you. Mitch, I mean, since he did the captain's dance, maybe your uncle? That's my own family business. <laughs> Sir, Mitch is too damn proud. But we're worried about Uncle Ken. Oh, uh, what's wrong? What's wrong with his uncle? Uncle Ken's the last one still living on the island. The last holdout. Oh, Crazier than a bag full of starved mole rats he is. Mitch sent him some of the fog condensers? So he might still be alive. He's safe from the fog. But the right. campground's got to be swarming with God knows what. Listen, it shames me to ask it. Oh, but he is my kin. Could you check up on him? Yeah. And find some way to drag his hide back here. You didn't have to okay, of course. lean in on it like that, buddy. But yeah, what's the reward? The island's dangerous. My services won't come cheap. Uh. If you look into it, I can throw some supplies in to help in the fog. Thank you. The plank ain't exactly flush with caps. Okay, I'll look for him. I'll look for your uncle. His homestead's the old visitor center, inland. And look out, he loves his trap. Oh, great. The holdout. Thank you for the stems, buddy. I'm carrying too much to run now, thanks. He gave me Radway, too. Nick, can you hold some things for me, buddy? What do I have in here that's just overburdened me constantly? Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna find a place to drop all my stuff off and I didn't. Yeah, that sounds like me. That really does. All right, buddy, I need hey, your help. Do something. Wow, you're holding a lot of stuff too, buddy. I don't think you're able to hold any of my things. No, I don't want to take all. Can't oh, yeah. hold anymore. Shoot. All right. Burns the belly, but gets the job Let's done. go sell some of Get our grenades. It's very upsetting. But I'm thinking, I don't really need all this food and stuff. I rarely eat food anymore. I normally just take a stem because I have so many now. I kind of would prefer storing it, though. I just don't know which containers are safe around here. Gotta go save Uncle Ken. Hey, buddy. Psst. Looking for a bargain? Sure. <laughs> Barda. Let's deal. Happily. Thanks. Alright, I gotta sell you my stuff. It's the only way, buddy. I don't really like mine, so I guess I'll sell it. Okay, that should do it. I'm still, like, right on the edge of overburden, so I really can't pick up anything on this quest. <laughs> I never met someone that did the ca- Wait a second, why is the Mariner, uh... Wait, optional help the Mariner. Oh wait, shoot, I gotta help the Mariner again, and... If I complete the holdout, then I might not be able to help the Mariner, because hers is an optional quest in changing tie. Shoot! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to- I have to do the Mariner again. <laughs> Alright, Harbor safe need? as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? Sure! Reason and sense keep steering you clear. What's the dilemma? What's on your mind? You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. Okay. The Red Death. May have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves. I've never heard only of it. Only strikes oh. when the fog is Oh, clear. no. People think I... it's some drunken sailor's tale. But no one goes I, sailing. I'm terrified. I don't on. know if I want to do this. In their bones, they know there's something out there. Okay, do you have any proof of that? Is there any evidence the Red Death is real? When I was a little one, I went sailing with my aunt. Fog rolled in thick and fast, and we saw it. Glowing red, crimson, oh, God, no. an unholy light oh, that God, stretched no. to the sky. My aunt was no fool. We rowed to shore with all our might. Tide made it hard, but we hit landfall. It's possible. I suppose the Red Death could exist. Good. An open mind. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt oh this Red God. Death. Are you with me? Okay, oh. 
What's the payment gonna be like? What's in it for me? Listen, I've thrown every cap I have into the hull. I'm close to beggared defending the harbor, but anything you find on the Red Death is yours. I just want to put it down for good. That means I'm gonna have to be unburdened. I know, that's how I feel right now. Okay, I'm in. Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. This oh my trip God. is going to test our metal. I, I think this is going to upset me greatly. Oh gosh, the great hunt. Nick, did you hear? I'm stupid. We're going on a great hunt. Fresh shipment. We need a place to put our stuff because this sounds like a big deal. We're probably going to get a lot of cool stuff. So we need to unburden ourselves quick. I wonder where it would be safe to put my things in Far Harbor. Or do I have to leave the island? Oh, look at your little hand. Oh, wow. I never noticed that. If you ain't armed, you ain't long for this world. Yeah, his little hand is metal. My guns. That's Bait cool. Got everything you need. I'm just not a whole of a hell of a lot sure, so I'm gonna leave Far Harbor and put my stuff back in one of my settlements on the mainland. Oh wait, Dalton Farm is one of my settlements. I wonder if I could store it there. <sighs> Even though it's my settlement, I'm not sure if my stuff will be safe there. Let's just go back to the mainland. I hate to do it. Mostly hate to do it because of the load screens, you know? But I gotta do it. Oh, look at the little cat. So cute. All right, Nick, how you like my settlement, buddy? Out here just like me. I don't think you Nick has ever been here. Too. Oh yeah, that's right, look. Sean is also a synth. Okay, they don't want to meet. <laughs> it's fine. All right, let me go store my things. I think I organized all this, huh? What do I put in here? Clothes, weapons. Transfer. Hmm. This creates far damage. Not really using that. Eh, I think I'll keep the blood letter. All right, it's time to store my deliverer and Lorenzo's artifact gun. All right, Nick, you got any weapons that I can put in here? Hey, Nick. Hey. Go on. All right, you got a combat shotgun. When did you pick that up? What bullets does this take? Doesn't say. I got any place I've been putting my food. I should make like a food storage. I'll put it right here. There we go. All right. Let's put my food in here. My vegetables are floating. Mariner, please. I heard about this expedition of yours. We need you. Oh. Please, turn back. The hull's strong, and one more rifle won't make a difference. Mainlander, if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose oh, you Oh gosh, both. this is really serious. Is it really that dangerous? Do you really think it's dangerous? Every now and again, some fool goes hunting for the Red Death. Sometimes they come back empty-handed, but more times than not, that's the last they're heard of. Oh. The hunt for the Red Death has taken its share of drunks, but it's also taken the lives of our mightiest men and women. Please, don't throw your life away. I don't... I don't know if I want to do this. I'm gonna lie. I'm not afraid. With all I've seen and faced, <laughs> this Red Death doesn't scare me. Don't say you haven't been warned. Okay. You know, poor Uncle Ken. We're we're taking a break to go fight the Red Death. A break. <laughs> That's not the right word choice. Mariner. I'll meet you there. The Red Death is going down. Are you coming to fight? Oh my gosh. What's she doing? Walking against some rocks, huh? <laughs> oh, teleporting. All right, well, I am more than a bit nervous. But I guess we're doing this. Go to your boat. Oh, wait, we have to get on the boat? Oh, God, this is... Oh, no, I'm not... I don't know if I'm equipped for this level of fear, y'all. I really... I'm really not sure. I'm just really not sure if I'm equipped for this level of fear. I'm really nervous. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, okay. Oh, I'm upset. 
This is really what I gotta do, right? Go to my boat. <laughs> Travel to Red Death Island! That's great! That's a great name! That's great. Red Death Island. I love it. It's like I love the Red Death. It's, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in fear and despair. <laughs> oh my god. No one came with me! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I don't want to be going to Red Death Island on my own. A and did it? <laughs> Mainlander? I I'm hearing ya. I plotted a safe course for your boat. Okay. Don't tamper with I was it. wondering about that. The shoals near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. I guess I was wondering, because, like, the I'll dad to told me that the boat was programmed to go to Fall Harbor, and I'm thinking, did he also program it to go to Red Death Island? <laughs> but they explained it. Further, Mainlander. Oh gosh, oh I hate this. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. They laughed at her. Then two weeks after, a full fishing boat. Oh my gosh, I hate this. From the beach they saw the glow on the I don't know why I decided to do this. I don't I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Oh god. Wrecks all around it. I really hope if I'm fighting this thing. It's on land. I, I cannot fight in the water. It will not happen. It, right. Look for the Red Death. Meet you there, and get prepared. What? What are you talking about? Why didn't you just come on the boat with me? I see the red glow. If that's what you're talking about. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Couldn't we have parked somewhere closer to the land? It can't be. What? That. Shit. That's the Red Death. Oh, it's little guy. He's fu he's tiny. All right, mission accomplished. Looks like you achieved your goal. <laughs> there it is. My whole life. <laughs> She's laughing I've at been him. Nightmares about. I mean, he's laughing at her. <sighs> what do we say to all the folk back home? If we tell them the truth, we'll be a laughing stock. We will be. Make it a legend. Maybe we embellish a little. Or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. Right. I have little stomach for it. But it's better than the alternative. Let's go. I thought I got this for you to celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. Me neither, honestly. Reduces damage by Mario Larks and bugs by 15%. Well, hopefully I won't be encountering uh, many bugs. Thank you. Banish the Red Death. Okay. <laughs> he's so cute and little. Oh, he's tiny. It's even more pathetic because he's even smaller than a regular Myler. Oh, hey, buddy. Look at him. He won't even attack. Do I really have to banish him? He's so cute. Oh. Aw, that's... that's really upsetting. He was so little. Do I really have to go back right away? There's a lot over here. Like those little barnacles. Well, he was small and cute and disappointing. And I was so nervous too. I was thinking this thing's gonna be huge. I'm gonna be terrified. I'm gonna have to fight him in the water. But no, he was small and cute and defenseless. This is really creeping me out being this close to the water though. I really wish it wasn't night. I just wanna explore the island cause I didn't really get anything from here. It's kind of a small little island too. Shoot, that- see, that's creeping me out. I gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh, why the music change like that? And why- why was his eyes glowing? The little red death. He's so tiny. He's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, that's sad that he's so cute. Okay. I thought there was a cave over here that he was going into. I guess not. He was just walking. 
All right. It wasn't supposed to be like this. No, I don't... <laughs> You're disappointed we didn't die? Oh my god, this, bo this boat's submerged. What's in here? Okay, I'll take that. I gotta get off this boat. Hey, you Mariner. It wasn't supposed to be like She's this. She's so disappointed. I feel bad. It was just a little guy. Yeah, travel to Fall Harbor. <laughs> well, we got to go on a creepy boat ride. Oh god. Everything went dark. That was scary. <laughs> Even Captain Avery was warning us about it and everything. <laughs> I wonder how many people are disappointed with all the build-up. <laughs> okay, we really didn't have to have all this fanfare for sailing over there. I'd rather just be at the island. <sighs> Gosh, come on, come on, just bring me to the island. Receive a hero's welcome. <laughs> Undeserved. Hey, everybody. Good thing Nick wasn't there to see it. <laughs> so he must have stayed on the boat. <laughs> I didn't see you there, buddy. Hey. Heads up. What's the plan? Not much, buddy. Come on. They're here. They're back. Did you find it? In front? Did you end the Got scourge of the sea? <laughs> we did. So, uh, we set sail. It was a terrible fight. So you killed it? Oh yes, we did at that. It was quite the sight. <laughs> did you hear? They did it! The Red Death's no more! We did! Did it take long? My grand figured it would take a mini nuke direct to the center of the eye to do it in. You need that would have worked. Guy. But we may do. <laughs> the seas are ours again. We can fish in peace. Tell me, are you injured, Mariner? Are you okay? No. We managed to get through. Unscathed. Hey, Thank God. You, uh, I thought for sure you were sailing to Hold on, break. next. Here's to the heroes. <laughs> the Lees sell guns over by the tourist shop. Nice. Guns, guns, and more guns. Uh, all right, what do you have to say, Nick? Heads up. You need it? Uh, any chance going. you got a second now? Sure, buddy. <laughs> of course. Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but... Uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. Because I defeated the For Red as Death. As long as I can remember, I've been getting these uh, flashes. Flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Oh. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm just a machine pretending to be oh, human. Oh, buddy, you're more than that. You're more than pretending. You think. You feel. You're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or... Whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on oh, sight. Buddy. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. Uh and I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them... Without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Oh, oh, buddy. You have. You've built your own life. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're a, you're a real good friend. You too, Nick. Thanks. Aw, he's happy. 
Come on, buddy. You know, there is this what? chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. What is it? I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure, buddy. What kind of history? What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. Oh, cool name. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter. Oh. Located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Uh, what's a sub shop? An evil king in a sub shop? Does a meatball monster Oh, show like a sandwich. Yeah, from what I've heard, <laughs> the pastrami golem is the one you really have to <laughs> watch God. out for. Anyway, if you're done being a wise <laughs> the story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever. Oh. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Oh my gosh. What sort of experiment? You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. Oh, 200 of years course. before it was fashionable. <laughs> Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? Oh. Yeah, but why are we doing this? I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. No, I've got memories of a, of a girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful. And innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, are you in? Yes. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. What's that, buddy? We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. Oh, shoot. And then we get... Is this a fetch quest? I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of Winters. I managed to snatch from Long the Cambridge Police coming. Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I'll bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Well, Nick, that was quite a cliffhanger. I want to play his quest so bad. I'm going to mock it for next time. Oh, it's already mocked. I am excited. Not about fetching holotapes, but are they all mocked? Oh, there's no way of telling because I'm in Fall Harbor right now. Well, we'll find out. Every day, another harbor man leaves the island. This is exciting, y'all. the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. Thank y'all so much for watching, and if you liked the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all.